a dream I know Deep up my feelings feel Hello reality viewers, welcome back again to Reality Latest Gist, the home of news and politics. For this channel, we they drop news every day and we they react to every video where it comes our way. And our reality news now we they drop for this channel and we they also they talk come as it be. If today not the first time we say they come across this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, I appreciate all of you now for the massive support to this channel i say may god bless all of you now in jesus name amen i get video away i want to present to una this very moment and i'm going to follow now they watch the video after we don't watch them together make we drop our opinion constructively for the comment section like our videos and also share our videos if possible bye for now uh, the first man that asked question i didn't quite get your question i don't know whether you wanted me to Explain what I meant by what I said yesterday when I said that the way I was feeling right now is like there is a tiger or a lion in me <laughs> ready to chase away the criminals in Nigeria and devour the internal enemies of Nigeria. I said that just to express how very anxious I am to start working. And, and to also convey the message that I am aware that there are enemies that we need to fight together. And if you listen to my speech, I mention it that we all need to collaborate together to be able to surmount the security challenges facing our country today. So it's going to be our collective responsibilities. All of us will be involved. Everybody is going to be turned to a policeman. So we, we, you will all be police. You, you journalists, you are here. We are going to work together, OK? We are going to partner with every groups, every individual, every law-abiding citizen who have to be brought on board. You must give us information. Apart from technical intelligence, we, also going to, we are also going to deal to rely so much on human intelligence, which we believe is available within our communities. We are going to be proactive in our approach. There was a question on community policing. Well, there is a lot that we are going to do differently in, in the implementation of the community policing strategies that we are operating presently. We have seen, I discussed that with the retiring IG, the, the IG that just retired, my predecessor. I discussed that with him just before we came here. And he told me all the problems that we are facing with the implementation of that community policing strategy. We are not going to set it aside. We are going to continue with it, but we are going to review a lot of things. We are going to make it work. Police, Force Equators, Abu 
Ninja. Commander by post number 49-00-SC, Sergeant Okada Phillips. Comprises of one big lap and six others. Good, move up. Verify this special, sir. Who the 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 outgoing Inspector General of Police, IGP, Usman Al Kali Baba, PSC Daga, MPM, FDC, CFR. The outgoing President of POA, Ajia Al Kali Baba. Members of the management team of the Nigerian Police Force. Senior police officers who are here present, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Today is another historical day in the, in the in Nigerian police force. I am yet not making a speech. I have just been asked to appreciate the outgoing Inspector General of Police for the wonderful services he rendered while he was in service. Sir, I cannot thank you enough. You mentored me so many times. Our paths have crossed so many ways. I appreciate your leadership of the force. I'm aware of the enormous task of stepping into your giant shoes. And I want to assure you that the legacies you, you are leaving behind will be protected. We are not going to do everything different. The good examples that you have given us, we are going to follow. Where we need to make changes, we will make those changes. But those changes will be in the interest of the Nigerian police force, and there will be changes that you will be pleased with. So I thank you very much. Thank you very much. Today, I am before you with great honor and a profound sense of responsibility as a newly appointed Inspector General of Police of Nigeria. I am most humbled by this opportunity to serve our great nation, and I'm fully committed to upholding the ideals of justice, security, and the rule of law. I want to thank Mr. President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, his Excellency, Senator Ahmed Bola Tinobu, CF, GCFR, for the conf confidence reposed in me by appointing me to this position. Being appointed as Inspector General of Police is not just a title for me, it is a commitment and a calling to make a difference. I am here not as an individual, but as a representative of a dedicated team united in our shared vision to safeguard the lives and well-being of everyone that lives in our great country, Nigeria. Together, we will strive to build a police force that reflects the values and aspirations of the people we serve. Nigeria, our beloved country, is at a critical junction in its history. We face numerous challenges that require the concerted efforts of every citizen to overcome. As the Inspector General of Police, I firmly believe that our path to a brighter future lies in collaboration, transparency, and the reformation of our law enforcement delivery system. First and foremost, I acknowledge our citizens' deep-rooted concerns and grievances against the police. It is no secret that the Nigerian police force has faced its fair share of criticism in the past. Instances of misconduct, corruption, and abuse of power have eroded public trust. I am before you today to declare that such behavior will not be tolerated under my watch, and there will be proactive steps to instill discipline across the ranks.
Accountability will be the cornerstone of my tenure as Inspector General of Police. I am committed to fostering a culture of professionalism, integrity, and respect within the police force. We will prioritize new ways of recruiting, training, and equipping our officers to ensure they, they possess the necessary skills and knowledge to carry out their duties effectively, efficiently, and with excellence. And this we will do to the admiration of the people that we serve. To regain the trust of the Nigerian people, we will establish a robust internal system to investigate allegations of misconduct within the police force. We will hold accountable those who betray the public trust in us, ensuring that they face the full force of the law. Additionally, we will actively promote a working culture that will encourage officers and citizens alike to report instances of corruption or abuse they may witness. Our police force will be a beacon of integrity. We will hold ourselves to the highest standards of professionalism and ethics. Henceforth, every police officer will be selected not only for their skills, but also for their passion, compassion, empathy, and commitment to public service. We will invest in innovative ways to foster ongoing training, promoting a culture of continuous learning where we adapt to the evolving needs of our communities and the challenges of our times. Furthermore, we will embark on an ambitious and visible program of community policing. We will recognize that the true measure of our success lies in the safety and well-being of our communities. To achieve this, we will forge stronger ties between the police and the public, fostering an environment of mutual trust and cooperation. Regular citizen engagement and community interaction programs will create meaningful dialogue and collaboration opportunities. Change does not happen overnight, but with each step, we will be closer to our vision of a safe, inclusive, and harmonious nation. I ask you to join hands with us, to stand beside us as we navigate the challenges that lie ahead. Together, we can build a police force that reflects the hopes and dreams of our citizens. Let us rekindle the spirit of unity, understanding that we are all in this together. Let us be the change we want to see, inspiring others through our actions and embracing the power of compassion, respect, and empathy through this collective effort. We will create a legacy worthy of future emulation. The fight against crime and insecurity will also be a top priority as well as the welfare of our officers. We will strengthen our intelligence gathering capabilities, bolster interagency cooperation, and enhance our capacity to respond swiftly to emerging security threats. In the coming days and weeks, we will unveil plans and strategies to secure the nation and build enduring peace across our communities. We are the Nigerian police force, and we will live up to our constitutional obligation as the primary, as the primary agency for internal peace in Nigeria. We will be bold about this duty. We will also adopt a technology-driven approach to law enforcement, leveraging modern tools and techniques to ensure the effective and efficient deployment of our resources. New policies to promote the welfare of officers will be implemented in the months ahead. We will provide support structures for our police officers that will cater for their peculiar physical, psychological, and emotional needs as law enforcement officers. We will introduce some presidential well-being programs to strengthen the hearts and minds of every officer. Lastly, I call upon all Nigerians to partner with us in this transformative journey. The challenges we face are not insurmountable, 
if we stand together as a united front. I encourage every Nigerian to embrace civic duty, report suspicious activities, and work hand in hand with the police to build a safer and more prosperous Nigeria for all. In conclusion, let me reiterate my unwavering commitment to the principles of justice, security, and the rule of law. The Nigerian police force, under my leadership, will strive for excellence, transparency, and accountability. <laughs> Together, we will build public trust, restore confidence in our law enforcement institutions, and create a Nigeria where every citizen feels safe, protected, and respected. In the coming days, I will unveil new tactics to release the great potential of the Nigerian police force. We will secure this nation. We will build lasting peace. And we will deliver on the vision of Mr. President. Thank you all for listening. Okay, Piero. Yeah. I took note of three questions that have been asked. Uh, the first man that asked question, I didn't quite get your question. I don't know whether you wanted me to explain what I meant by what I said yesterday when I said that the way I was feeling right now is like there is a tiger or a lion in me <laughs> ready to chase away the criminals in Nigeria and devour the internal enemies of Nigeria. I said that just to express how very anxious I am to start working. And And to also convey the message that I am aware that there are enemies that we need to fight together. And if you listen to my speech, I mention it that we all need to collaborate together to be able to surmount the security challenges facing our country today. So it's going to be our collective responsibilities. All of us will be involved. Everybody is going to be turned to a policeman. So we, we, you will all be police. You, you journalists, you are here. We are going to work together, OK? We are going to partner with every groups, every individual, every law-abiding citizen who have to be brought on board. You must give us information. Apart from technical intelligence, we, also going to, we are also going to deal to rely so much on human intelligence which we believe is available within our communities. We are going to be proactive in our approach to solving our community problems. OK? Then um, you mentioned, you asked a question about what again? Um, OK, salary of constables that were recruited some time ago. I want to assure you that. That has already been looked into. It's been worked out. By the end of the month, I've been told that the salaries and are, are, um, salary arrears and allowances will be paid to those constables. <laughs> then um, there was a question on community policing. Well, there is a lot that we are going to do differently in, in the implementation of the community policing strategies that we are operating presently. We have seen, I discussed that with the retiring IG, the, the IG that just retired, my predecessor. I discussed that with him just before we came here. And he told me all the problems that we are facing with the implementation of that community policing strategy. We are not going to set it aside we are going to continue with it, but we are going to review a lot of things. We are going to make it work. Thank you very much. 
Then your question on domestic violence. Our policing has been gender sensitive. We yes, um, I am the immediate past DIG for CID, and I'm aware that a lot is being done to improve our services with respect to um, gender, that any issues that borders on gender um, issues. Um, I want to assure you that we are not covering up our policemen who are found guilty in area of domestic violence. We have so many of them locked up presently. Some of them have been dismissed in the past, and we are not going to relent on this until we get our desired result. So I assure you that um, it's the police of yesterday that will say want to cover up policemen. I, I, am, I don't even believe that we've been covering up our policemen. If there is any organization that has been, um, that has not been sparing their members who committed offenses against members of the public, it is the Nigeria police. There were, there, we once had an IG that was parading policemen who were arrested for such offenses in the past. But later we said that, no, we, why do we have to parade them? We don't have to parade them. The fact that we don't parade them does not mean that we are covering them up. OK? So um, please trust us that our early members will be dealt with the way we deal with other members of the public. We have our own internal mechanism for discipline, and we will be, we'll be committed to the processes of um, um, those disciplinary processes that have already been laid down in our books. Okay, thank you.
Yes, so my people, as I told, I say I go come back. I don't come back. I will come back. As soon as I see that video, I will watch. I will see. I want more. I leave. I comment for the comment section there. More. I tell me. I will see the matter. Whether it good or it bad. If it good, make one let me know. If it's still bad, me wanna still let me know. So if it they right, me wanna still leave a comment below. If it they bad, me wanna still leave a comment below. Wanna remember say everybody gets freedom of speech, okay? All right. Thank you very much.